Welcome back to Satisfactory, and yes, all of the uh, the nice, nice nature has been paved over with concrete, as it should be in a factory game. So, uh, I've got a few things done, and let me just quickly update you. Uh, yes, lots of, lots of concrete came out of this machine, so another Minor Mark 1 going straight into a constructor, going straight into a storage box, which is supplying me with uh, concrete as it actually goes. I also ran up there and did another Minor Mark 1, and then just created uh, these conveyor poles, quite easy to create. Basically, you choose the location, and then you can drag them up into multiple levels, and that will let you position things. However, in our case, um, uh, I don't need too many levels, uh, but they will become more useful later when we get the stacked version of this. There is a version where you can get multiple um, conveyor belts in a single pole, but we're not going to get to that just yet. We'll have to use some other tricks for that. So out of that is coming copper ore. Now, it's not going into anything right now. We're going to get to that uh, pretty soon. But I just had to have a bit of an experiment with walls and ramps. Now, this is the only walls and ramps I've got so far. There will be some more unlocked if you have a look in here, um, in Select Milestone. Yep, in Utility, which we're about to get, there are going to be more, some more walls. I don't see any floors. The only floors I see are the foundations at the moment, so we'll have to live with the foundations. And then in Tier 2, um, there isn't any flooring apart from walkways. Yeah, I'm not sure if they are going to take the place of floors or just going to be mounted above the floors, but we'll see. We'll see what they actually go with. And while we're actually talking about the active milestone, let's get into tier one by inserting some more iron rods. And off that goes. So utility has been unlocked. More importantly, that let lets me create a new fuel source, basically creating biofuel instead of biomass, uh, which is more efficient to use, I believe. Um, yep, and there goes our pod. In here, we're also going to start up the, um, the analysis. We did put Paleberry already through, so we may as well just look at other stuff that I have around. Um, Mycelia, I went and got some from the same cave that we got in the, um, in the Alpha Weekend. And, uh, is that Mycelia? No, that's Carapace. I need Mycelia. There it is. And go. Now we can come back in five minutes for that. On the factory building side, on the walls, I was having a look at various different construction options. It looks like, and let's just go up this ramp for a second and you'll see what I mean. It looks like we're going to need uh, to have at least basically three sections of wall high. You can see them more easily on there. So three sections of wall. And then the foundations, the thinnest kind, is like that sort of height. So we can create floors wherever we want, but to fit these machines in, if we want anything on the bottom floor, we're going to need at least three, I think. Also, I did put the, uh, the foundations over the top because I'm definitely not going to want that in the middle of our factory. So I'm going to want to um, put the smelters outside. So with that in mind, I'm just going to get rid of these because these are just tests. There we go. And uh, we can just go head backwards a little bit. And I think for the bottom floor, I'm going to use these orange wall segments. And then for every other floor, I'm probably going to use the tin ones. They look more, well, more corrugated iron, I guess. Yeah. And uh, here, you definitely don't need, by the way, to put in these foundations other than when you're building ramps. So you could leave it like that, for instance. And that would work perfectly well as well. It just looks a little bit dodgy. So, yeah. Uh, also note that if you're going to build stuff, the, um, the foundations are not different costs at the moment. So if you want to build four meter high foundations instead of two meter high foundations, uh, feel free to. Uh, it doesn't cost twice as much uh, concrete. You might think it does, it doesn't. So that's all nice and cheap. So with that in mind, let's just get rid of you and you. What I thought we might do is have the start of our factory building, wherever we're gonna put it, about here. I'm going to want room for smelters, room for belts coming in. You'll see the end of our copper ore belt there. And uh, it sort of seems like we want to send up uh, either use like into our bottom floor here, like a basement, just to have some storage space, or we just built everything straight up to the roof. So I think for the moment, I'm just going to build everything up to the roof. And then I'm going to build some more construction up there to get things going. Uh, we're going to start that with ramps, and I'm going to build them up like this for the moment and then we can just attach to them 
There we go. And the same thing. That just gets me going for now. Um, I don't need those. I'll just save up a little bit of concrete. And we could even put walls in there, you know. Walls would work. Um, flip them around. Um, like that. So it doesn't look too bad off the other side of a ramp. But we may want to want the, uh, the corrugated iron ones just to match the ramps. In any case, we've got a main floor up here that we can think about start putting foundations down. And uh, it does actually come pretty close to uh, to our slug here, so I guess we can jump across. Ah, yep, there we go. And we can pick up a green power slug. This gives you the ability to overclock machines to basically run at 200% normal and that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, we don't need to worry about it other than that for the moment. So I'm going to go and carry on more foundations uh, done. And um, then we can just basically put a floor up here, which will be our main floor level. Main reason to have this elevated is, one, I get storage space underneath. Two, um, it basically lets me not worry about rocks sticking up out of the floor. And uh, I, it's already above this cliff level. So if I wanted to build over in that direction, I'd have all that extra space over there. And the only impediment to it is probably that rock right there. And there is what looks like another item on top of it in the middle. But if we get to that point, then that's fine. Also note in this starting location over there, there is some like poisonous plants in there. So uh, having a floor level above that would be pretty good to avoid those, at least for the moment. Okay, so I'm off to more construction. And then we'll come back shortly for some uh, more actual factory work, i.e. belts and construction and stuff. Okay, hopefully this gives, more, gives you more of an idea now. We've got basically a triple uh, segment over there, which has three connections for conveyors, wall conveyor times three. Uh, I've got a door there and a door here because there is no uh, way to really get little cable through the walls yet. There's not like a, um, there's not a connect connection point I can put on a wall, at least not at this, this level of the tech tree. So I've had to use a door. That seems to work quite well. Looks sort of in theme. Um, we could use a conveyor, a uh, single conveyor like that right there. But a door's bigger and easier to actually get the wire in the right place. Okay, on this side we've got a single conveyor uh, for this, mainly because we've got one uh, copper spot up there. We've got three iron spots here, and then of course three potential iron spots going in over there. At least mm, at the moment, we could just put singles along various points. But that's this side of the actual building, and uh, yeah, it is not finished anyway. Because I'm, I'm running out of com uh, concrete all the time. Which isn't, you know, which isn't unexpected, but uh, we are laying it as we go. And yep, there is no physics, so this thing won't fall down, at least for the moment, uh, without supporting walls or anything, so we should be perfectly fine. And over here, then, we can then put our smelter back down, or at least I put a temporary copper smelter down there, just so I could get some stuff. It's right there. And uh, then up here, we can put the constructor that I was using to make wire, so production... Uh, constructor and I want to line it up with that but this is gonna have a little bit of an issue in the uh, oh yeah, I haven't got enough floor space yet let's put a couple more down there we go constructor and I want to make sure there's plenty of space between the inputs and the first set of machines because we may have splitters and mergers going on and then the same thing between machines just hopefully to save us a little bit extra uh, sort of um, reconfiguring shall we say when we actually need it so let's put it there uh, hopefully that's lined up roughly with the machine seems to be good enough um, it actually needs to be moved back a little bit so we want it uh, maybe a couple of spaces beyond this line okay that's relatively straightforward instructor and its inputs are in the middle of the thing, so that should be fine too, so... About there, that should do. And now we can configure this to be making wire for us. Okay, and on the back side of this, we're going to want more concrete, because I'm going to need to uh, basically put a storage crate down. I'm going to be able to put the storage crate down now, just, um, just with a short connection or anything else. Let's just line that up. Yep, I'll replace this later. For now, it will do just to retain whatever's being produced by here. There's no power yet. So I've got the input there and one one thing going that way. Let's just bring another power cable here. We could connect this directly, just makes this more flexible. 
And I'm missing iron rods. Yeah, fine. We'll go make them. I think we might need to put more doors and more ramps up here and uh, to be able to get access to the second floor. At least until we've got something a lot more like an elevator. And I think I'm going to be moving this smelter anyway because it, it, it's sort of blocking my way a little bit. Um, but I just don't want that pollution cloud anywhere inside the factory. Just bleh. No, let's, uh, let's keep things looking pretty nice. Can I actually grab those rods back out? No, you can't. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Can I actually craft any more? I cannot. Which means I'm heading down this way to get more rods. One second. There we go, we've got rods, so we can connect you to you, you to you, and you to you. And then that should start up. Yep, you're producing wire. And we can keep that stored in here for now. And I've got plenty of wire spare. So, let's build another one of these. Is this, is this going to be fall damage from this height? Um, nope, that's good. I'll use that as an exit. And then we should be able to just submit the rest of this stuff in here. I need a few more rods. You can hold out space instead of left clicking if I haven't already mentioned that, by the way, on this head on the craft button. And that will do the job just fine. Let's put you in. And that's logistics. Logistics gives us splitters and mergers, which is going to be very, very important when we start to come into more complex construction paths through our factory. Uh, in the meantime, I've also taken personal storage, so we should be able to make personal storage boxes. And uh, we've got all those first four. We have object scanner, berry, and fabric. They are both coming up. Well, the fabric is coming up from research. That's what this icon generally comes up for. And um, we need a few things for that, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, hold the object scan berry. I just need two berries. I should have two berries somewhere, shouldn't I? Uh, I can't actually click them in until the, the pod comes back. Oh well, uh, do we want a different milestone instead then? Uh, part assembly, the assembler, uh, obstacle clearing, and uh, no, I think what I actually want... Well, I would like this one. Yeah, what I actually want to do is now do the thing on the right hand side of the screen, which is build a space elevator. Now for that I'm going to need a bunch of stuff, which I don't have. Um, mainly that I don't have 1500 wire yet, so I've got an automated system doing that. Concrete, I've got an automated system doing that, and uh, iron plates I've already got enough of. So I just need iron rods, and uh, iron rods, and well, I can make 400 of them myself, I suppose. Yeah. So let's back Why can't I build a personal storage box? Are they only built in certain things? Um... Personal storage. Personal storage box. I should already have that. Except that I can't make it anywhere. Hmm. Does it have to be upgraded? I was almost sure it was in here. Never mind. I'll figure it out later. Um, is there anything else to be researched right now? There probably is. Flower petals. Yes, we should. <laughs> Yeah, while I was collecting leaves, I collected a lot more flower petals. So I've got 200, well, I've got 800 of them or something. So let's just actually get those researched. Uh, shift click them in. You can go. Uh, fabric can be researched as well. The green power slug, that will get us a research for the overclocking uh, chip, or whatever it's called, crystal. Uh, barrel nuts is just basically more food. And then alien carapace, I'm not quite sure that's going to research into. However, you know, that's going to start. It's another five minutes of research done. And we're good, I think. Oh, is that our pod coming back? It's usually the sound of the pod coming back. Yeah, here it comes. Seems entirely too fast of an approach, but hey. <laughs> and that means I should be able to then go for the next milestone, whichever one we choose. Uh, we could go for the chainsaw, but I don't quite need it just yet. So this is sort of like the next thing I probably should go for. Yeah, and this is going to require a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, we can just get rid of iron plates by putting all of those in. And uh, lots and lots of wire, put those in. And then we just need some cable and some iron rods. So back to iron rods again. What I think I'm going to do then is, because we've got this constant inflow of iron ingots now, well, I should just have splitters just enabled. So splitters, are they constructible in here? Oh, this is where the personal storage box is. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> This is uh, quite obvious again, when, when, what you think about it? Anyway, uh, what was I going to do? Um, yes, splitters and mergers. So, look as you might expect, they take one input and split it to three outputs. 
or take three inputs and you know merge it into one output subject to the speed of the belt going through it of course uh, we are going to probably want buy a separate biomass burner soon anyway is there anything else new the space of el elevator only so no what we actually probably want is to make iron rods as well and we want to make it with a splitter so for that we're going to need to be able to make a constructor for that we need to reinforce iron plates so i'm just going to go and make those off camera and join me in a second okay so our second constructor is right here and it's aligned with the first one nice and neat so i originally put in this pole right here just to make sure that all of this stuff was moved over to this side of things as soon as it came in and that makes it quite easy to then just get a splitter here and the splitter is going to be right next to this machine uh, i'm not going to worry about anything else um yeah let's just move it to about there okay and then we'll just put input to outputs, input to outputs. And then on this side, we're going to then probably just keep this nice and, uh, well, nice and sort of uh, lined up where possible. So let's just get the thing from there to there, from there to there. And everything looks pretty nice to me. So now we've got two inputs of iron ingots, uh, basically depending on how what, what our speed of that smelter is. Uh, coming to these two constructors, and this one can then say you want to be producing iron rod. So this will take one every 15 seconds. It needs power. Um, do I have enough power? That is the question. Ooh, that's looking close. If I enable this, it may well, it may well go over, uh, but let's give it a try. There's no harm. No downside at the moment. In fact, oops, uh, what I actually want to do, do I want to feed it off this one? Uh, one there. To, yeah, this actually can come for this one. Okay, hopefully it won't spike over the top. Ooh, it's getting close. Okay, but it is actually now producing iron rods. And again, just because I want a storage for this at the moment, uh, let's just... Uh, my short on stuff. Oh, I need iron rods. How how uh, how appropriately ironic. Um, there's five. We'll get some more shortly. And we'll build another storage cap. We'll be taking out these storage, um, you know, storage units, storage containers pretty soon. But uh, just for now, we want a nice storage container that, you know, for example, this one has, you know, nearly 300 iron plate in it. And that's uh, that's good for me. Let's just see. I do now have... Did that thing just shut down? Did we run out of power? Or did we spike? We run out of power. Probably means I'm out of fuel, which means I'm probably out of um, biofuel, I think. In any case, we can still build our storage container. And let's flip that around. Where is it on this one? It is sort of there. So as long as we keep everything lined up that way, it would be really nice. And there we go. There we go. So once I restore the power, everything else should be good. Still in two minds as whether to still trying to keep this elevated or have walkways over the top. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? I mean, it makes it more... You need more space if you have to keep elevating things and bringing things back down to the inputs again. So maybe I will just go with walkways over the top for now. But again, if you have any strong opinion or you've played further than I do and know any secrets, feel free to let them know for other people, just like uh, everything else in this episode and others. Well, do let people know. Okay. Uh, where was I? Yes, power. How much uh, biofuel do I have? Well, I've got lots of supplies to make more. Not much is for certain, so... At least for the moment I do. Uh, e. Biofuel and just hold a space. That might actually take longer than I expect. <laughs> Let me just put some uh, put some fuel in the machines. And which one's given up? They both need it. Okay, so... Um, can I drop the stack? I can. I'm going to split it in two by right clicking. And then just feeding in 16 to each. There we go. Grab my copper back. And that will keep on going while I make more fuel. And yeah, to clean up and everything, uh, I did actually move the smelter up there for the copper. So it can make it directly out of the miner. And then provide it on this belt right here, which comes all the way around now and comes in into our factory. So much cleaner, much easier to walk around out here. Although I don't think our hub's going to be here for too much longer because, hey, 
I only have to keep coming back down here and then going back up there to actually craft stuff. So we want it up there eventually, but uh, we'll get to that soon enough. I do want to take check out the new stairs. I haven't managed to try these yet, and I did see them in, in the Alpha Weekend, but I uh, thought it'd be worthwhile taking a look. They snap to foundation, make it easy to get the other floors of your structures. Uh, so stairs left, so yeah, okay. So other floors, you say? This might actually be... Well, do we have to rotate like this? And then this, maybe? Okay. I guess. Although this might, this might take a while to get up here, so I'm going to want to probably uh, skip this for uh, some of this. And there we go. And I missed. Um, no, we can actually put it that way. That's fine. Sort of okay. Um, not sure I want to actually be climbing this amount of stairs every time, but yeah, okay, fair enough. So uh, yeah, now I need a few things and that's just being automatically made basically. One is those iron rods. The other thing is if you look at the space elevator on the right hand side, I just need lots of concrete and that's actually pretty slow by comparison to everything else. So we get some iron rod there. That's, um, you know, not quite half, but uh, close enough. Let's see how fast this uh, wire goes. We don't really have much to speed things up with at the moment. The wire is actually uh, nicer. And I need to, just need to wait now, really. Uh, I think we're gonna put the space elevator down before I put this part assembly in process. Uh, just because the iron rods are a little bit slow um, to make. And there we go, all of our ingredients are done for the space elevator, so we can go and make it. And it's gonna be huge, so we gotta decide where we actually want to put this thing. That's not so much as for certain. Um, yeah, floor is too steep there and everywhere. Uh, finding a space for this, uh, yeah, finding a space for the space elevator is not easy. Uh, it'd be almost worthwhile putting on on that rock, but we can put it where we put it before. Uh, however, I'd sort of wanted it to not be in the building, and I don't mind having to send stuff to it because it's gonna. Yes, well, we can always rebuild it, I suppose. Yeah, we can always rebuild it, so let's just put it down wherever for the moment. And you should do right there. This is an awesome build and a great animation. <laughs> Full credit to the devs here. Okay, so there goes the clamp, so it's the docking section, and the tether should come down from the sky. It will take it a minute to come down, but uh, it will come down. There we go. The arms are opening. And there's the clamp, along with the elevator itself. Don't think there is any uh, sort of ascension um, part of that yet. There we go. Tether comes in. And there's the elevator. So that section should come down. And it's ready to go. So the space elevator unlocks future tiers, essentially. So let's go over there and let's see what it actually allows us to do. If there's been any changes, uh, let's press E to configure the elevator. Okay, so it's first, first tier it needs a reinforced iron plate and it needs rotors. Okay, so we have to get those done to be able to unlock tier three and tier four. So we can't, well, we can make the reinforced iron plate. We can't make rotors just yet, I don't think. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's uh, pretty nice for me. And then, yeah, the rest of our factory needs to take place. Now we could uh, put some more assembly machines downstairs, but I think we'll continue building upstairs. How much, uh, well, I've got a little bit of concrete, enough to make some more floor space. Anyway, that's sort of bringing us to the end of this episode. I wanted to sort of end with the space elevator because the next set of stuff that we build will be probably using uh, that part uh, assembly milestone at the top right. It'll be using that, and I just need lots more iron rods to actually do that. So I'll craft them between the episodes. Um, so it's a little bit shorter than otherwise. I think it's about well, 25 minutes, so it's not too bad. And yeah, we've got you know we've got my iron rods being built slow enough. Uh, very fast enough, and uh, we got plenty of iron plates, should we want them. So everything's looking pretty good. I'm quite pleased that everything's a little bit more ordered and nicely laid out than in the Alpha Weekend. So I'm sure if any of you are triggered by um, things not being laid out nicely, well, look, I've got a nice factory so far. It could go downhill, but yeah, we'll see.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And next episode, we will get into multi-part construction. It's a new assembler. And then we'll have to get into probably multiple production lines at some point. Um, to provide, provide the first tier to the um, to the uh, space elevator, you don't need to pipe that in there. I mean, we could. There is spaces down there you can see where you can get a conveyor belt. But um, we don't need to actually do that because it's relatively little ingredients to actually put in there. So we can just make them up here and head down there and shift click them in and that will work perfectly for unlocking tier 3 and tier 4. But for now, and uh, we've pretty much done the important parts of tier 1 and tier 2, apart from those 300 iron rods. And I'll continue doing the rest of them between the episodes as well. So next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to get to start with the production lines and then we're heading towards tier 3 and 4. Hope you'll join me for that. Feel free to subscribe, share, and let other people know. I think that you've got any comments, tips, and tricks. That will be pretty much well appreciated by everyone. And I'll see you next time for some more Satisfactory. And of course, guys, thanks for watching.